All right, hello. You might know me as J3TB0T. That is the name I use for Bandcamp Music and for my YouTube channel. And I am here to ask a few questions based on how exactly physical discs, like selling physical CDs of music works. I know there is the generalized answers that you could research and get from Google. I understand that. But there's always the snags, there's always the exceptions, there's always the details, and there's always the specifics. So if anyone has any information based on, you know, difference between digipacks and CDs, which is better, if, you know, the idea of uh, which is better to go full indie and full uh, with a record label company, even how to get with a record label company, because they don't even describe you that in specifics on, you know, online either. They kind of generalize it again. And I am a very much a person of specific, specific, specifics. I like to get down to the little, every single last grain of every single detail known to man. And um, so I know there is just, you can, I could do research, but I already know that. I already know I could, you know, research my head off, but I want to know specifics. If anybody has something they feel as though needs to be said about, you know, how exactly to sell indie music or how to get with a record label company in general on selling music on CDs, please let me know. I understand the idea of, um, you know, just try fits and starts. I understand all that. I'm just trying to get if there is anything else to know before doing all this stuff. Because um, I make music on Bandcamp under that same three uh, name I mentioned earlier, like I was talking about. Um, so far, I have released uh, three albums. We have Ascend, Fractured, uh, Fusion. A new album is coming out. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna try to make it for this fall. Around 10 or 11, around that much uh, songs, I'm gonna try to release for it. And I wanna know, like, what I wanna try to get at is how exactly to get a physical CD idea with it, like how exactly I would be able to sell that. I know there is the idea, if you go indie, there's the Digipacks, there's the um, storable CD cases, which I think are supposed to be cheaper to make. Either way, if you go indie, either you're making your own record label company thing, and you have that machine that literally prints on the disc. I'm not sure how exactly you have that. I'd like to know. Um, like, uh, this is Empathy Test. I don't know how they did it, but uh, there's also the idea that you get a lot of, you just print off everything, uh, go to a printing company, and just ask for custom prints. You literally put a custom sticker on the CD, as long as you know how to, you know, just probably press it down and give it the time and effort to push it down and make sure that's all good. And then, you know, you put your inserts in the front, you put your inserts in the back. This is System Sin. He's also going indie at the moment. Both awesome artists. Um, so yeah, you have your, you could go that way. Or I guess, you know, uh, if you go with a record label company, you know, you got all the stuff that goes with it. You just have to, this is Cesium 137. He goes with, uh, they go with Metropolis. So I don't even know how exactly to, you know, do you just send them the music like randomly? No, I would think there would be a process to that. So again, probably that, maybe that information is generalized online again, and you have to figure out the specifics of it. But anyway, um, but there's also that. Uh, so if anyone has any questions about that, and also which one would probably be better like in the long run. Again, I know that's also preference, and that also depends on your, on who you are and whatnot. Uh, depends on what, if you wanna make this amount of money or that amount of money, or you, know, you wanna spread your popularity this way or that way. Um, one thing I absolutely don't want to do is sell stuff on Spotify or any form of streaming service that has it to where you don't download your music. Because in my opinion, that's a little bit of a scam. Um, so that's the reason why I'm, at the moment I'm just doing Bandcamp digitally, but I would like to go to uh, physically with just CDs and that's about it of what exactly I would want to sell that. So if anyone knows any information about this, Sorry if it sounds like I'm going one way or the other way with it. I'm just trying to get some information on these type of topics. Please let me know in comments or any other way. And uh, thank you so much for your answers on based on what you give. This is all, you know, 
there's constructive criticism, there's helpful hints, there's comments, advice, stuff like that you could all give. And I will take it all into consideration. And thank you so much for whoever is able to, you know, get some information or surrounding these topics to me. Thank you very much. Uh, have a blessed day. And thank you. And just, I can't thank you guys enough for if you do, you know, supply that type of info for me. So I right, just wanted to get this out there and ask about these questions. So see you guys later. Bye.